This will be a tutorial for how to download my mod pack. I've tried to make this intro multiple times now, but I haven't prepared uh, well enough. So yeah, let's hope it uh, it's okay this time. Uh, although I will need to uh, kind of cut it up into pieces. Um, so first you need to, um, uh, here's a little disclaimer saying that you need to uh, install some mods independent of mine to get the full experience. Uh, but first, to start, you just click um, manual download on the version you want to, uh, preferably the newest version. Um. <coughs> just have to make sure I'm recording. <laughs> um, and uh <coughs> here, uh, if you can't see all of them, just take this and drag it out. Um, so here we have uh, different uh, files. Uh, this is for my reshade preset. Um, you can follow my other video covering how to install reshade uh, in Cyberpunk 2077. I will have a link for that in the description and it is essential for this mod pack because it hugely amplifies the experience. Both of these uh, uh, presets are entirely developed by me. Uh, and here I have um, uh, the INI edits. As, as they are called. So you need to find them. Um, uh, this is like the, the most essential part basically. Um, first you need to um, um, to find uh, uh <laughs> find uh, Cyberpunk and the way you do that. Okay now I remember. You click on uh, this PC and click on your disk. Then you find uh, s uh, program files x86 then you go down to Steam, and then you find um, Steam Apps, Common, and here is Cyberpunk 2077. And then you go to um, to which one was it? Engine, I think. Yes, Engine. Then Config, and then Platform. And then PC. Here you will have three uh, already existing. So what you need to do is to see which one of these uh, you want to use. Do you have an RTX card and want to use DLSS? Or do you want to not use DLSS? I uh, don't think I should go into the differences. Basically it's um, like some internal uh, settings that are changed in each of them. Which breaks the DLSS when they are disabled. Uh, which is why there are two versions. So if you are planning on using DLSS, take this one. If you're not planning on using DLSS or uh, and because you don't have an RTX card or you're, pla you're planning on uh, only using ray tracing, uh, then you can choose this one. <coughs> so this PC I don't have an RTX card on, so I will take this one and drag it into here. So that's the first and most essential part of uh, the installation process. Uh, now the, the mod is technically working and assuming you have already uh, um, enabled or installed a reshade and uh, put uh, the corresponding reshade preset uh, into your game, uh, then the biggest part of the mod pack is finished. But there are one more essential part. I just need to pause the program for a little bit so I can find out what the next uh, next steps are. Um, there is supposed to f uh, to come uh, like um, to be <laughs> there is supposed to be um, readme uh, file text file, uh, but I apparently it isn't uh, in the rar file which it is supposed to. But I think that's just because I haven't released it yet. So I will go into, to find it here, I will just go into, I think, documentation. Come on, don't be slow. Okay, here it is, uh, USB and text, here. So um, you will find this in your, uh, in your, in the file you install from my mod page. And right now I just gotta end this and I will be back after I start recording again because I'm using the trial version of this program. Okay, so over to the most difficult part of. Uh, oh, I think I have the mic too close to my mouth. I'm sorry if I, if if it was a bit too close. <coughs> um, but this is the most uh, difficult part of it. So, 
Uh, if you're not comfortable with this, you need to pay close attention and I will try to not disappoint. So here is the, the, the readme that you should definitely uh, check out. Or if you, <laughs> if you watch this video, you have checked it out because the link is to this video is supposed to be here. <coughs> um, so uh, uh, here I've categorized them into two, uh, two different sections. These are the mods I've used uh, to help me and to kind of teach me and uh, who I've, I've also straight up copied some of it and uh, copied some and edited and some just straight copied and sorted. So uh, I've, I've, these are the ones I've used in the ini file, that's what I'm trying to say. And I don't want to make it sound like I just co straight up copied because I definitely didn't, but I uh, copied them as a starting point to uh, do further customization and to make it all work together. <coughs> Uh, but anyways, these are the ones that you need to download independently. So first we follow this link, okay? Um, and I will probably mess this up, so <laughs> this will probably take multiple tries. Ooh. Okay, I pause it until further notice. I just want to say uh, <laughs> I found a problem. I actually copied the entire thing when I'm supposed to <laughs> just copy the link. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but now I uh, copied the link and here it is. Uh, so this is the first one. So uh, you can follow the tutorial provided here. You just need to click on that and uh, just, uh, I think there's one more click after that. After that. Uh, but I just go to files um, and download the latest wait. Yeah, this is the latest version, manual download. And then I open it and, oh shit, wait, let me remember how to do this. So here is the installation process. I had to uh, just make sure. So um, this one you can completely ignore because I have already integrated this into my um, ini file edits. Uh, INI is just the, the name here, I don't remember what it stands for, uh, but it's the configuration settings thing. <laughs> um, this one, I <laughs> okay, so if we follow this, um, I think I just used the plugins, but I <laughs> I don't know if this one is necessary for my, for my mod pack, uh, but let's just do it properly. So we go to Cyberpunk, go to bin, uh, and uh, x64 uh, uh, that's correct right yeah and then we take this one and then we hold the command or ctrl i think it's the command on mac but the ctrl button on our keyboard to be able to select uh, multiple things so then i hold it in and select plugins as well or you can just do it individually and here we just Oh, I already have reshared on this, okay. Like this. And now it should be working properly. So that's the first one. Now, after that, uh, we take this one. So we uh, go here and copy and paste. And here we find um, uh, this one, this one is a little bit more simple, I think. Make a backup of your, um, okay, let me. Okay, so this one we need to place uh, at this location. So we first go to files, um, select the newest one. This is the good thing about uh, relying on other people's uh, mod or externally downloading them because I don't need to update mine every time they update. Uh, so that's good. <laughs> um, okay, so we open here and uh, the uh, oops, that's right. So we go here and find uh, the correct way. Uh, R six uh, config settings. Uh, I think this was the correct platform. Then PC, and here's the original one. Uh, option, op <laughs> options, uh, JSON file, and oh, there's my cat. Wait, 
So I've just uh, taken replace uh, the one that. Um, uh, okay, wait. Uh, I can close this one. Um, take uh, th uh, this one and just drag it in there and replace the file in the destination. Uh, and he has included an original and modified version of it as well, in case you want to revert it back to normal. Um, and this this option you basically have to. I can show you later in the game. It's not. Uh, it's it's very simple. Mm. And let's do the next one. Our intro videos. This one is actually very useful. So here we have uh, this one, and I think this is a quite simple download uh, into the installation. Uh, MPEG, uh, MPEG file drive to the game installation directory. Okay, okay, this one is very simple. So we download it. Um, open. And we have to go to Cyberpunk. Um, uh, archives, then PC, content. No, wait, wait a moment. Okay, so you need to take um, this one and drag it into here when you click on first Cyberpunk, then PC, and in this location where the folder that's called content is located, you drag the patch folder into there. Not into the content folder, but both of, both of these folders should be next to each other. And then that's finished. And uh, if you look in here, you can see the name of it. Uh, and let's do the next one. This one is a bit more complicated, I think. So let's take the name and go to this. And let me just pause the video. Okay, so we need to take these two files into R6 and then config. So let's do that and let's hope I don't forget. Um, I think which one? I think this one is the one I should should use. Yeah. So here we have it. And uh, where's the folder? Cyberpunk R6 uh, config and <laughs> oh shit I forgot <laughs> um I config okay it's it's that simple here in config we take these and remember the CTRL uh, to be able to <laughs> book up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Um, so we take and place these. Th uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I was confused there. Uh, like so. Uh, so now that's downloaded. And remember to activate this one in game. You need to uh, take to go to your. Uh, What's it called? Uh, key configurations in the game and click hit uh, no, click uh, restore to default because then you restore the default options which is now this. So you need to uh, make everything back to normal, basically uh, back to the what the game thinks is normal by clicking the revert to to default on the key bindings. But now we're finished with this one. Let's take the next one. And Lock Night City. This one is interesting because it's very new and it's extremely new. It came out two or three days ago, and he has barely updated it yet. So, and he will update it quite a bit. So, I'm very excited about this one, and I hope it doesn't break the game in any way. Uh, wow! I wish I had this su this success <laughs> on my mods. Um, but anyways. Uh, whoa, 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 now I'm confused. Luckily the video is soon will soon be over, so I can uh, see you later. Okay, so here you can see the installation process. And we already have uh, the cyber, uh, cyber engine tweaks installed. Uh, so don't worry about this one. 
So we just go to the top and to make this a bit more simple we open this in a new pane. <laughs> no, I'm joking, that's uh, new farmer. It's Norwegian. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. A new tab, that's the English uh, word. There we have it. And uh, oh, he is aggressively updating it. That's good. It's very good. Um, manual download. Okay, okay, now we need to do this. Uh, good thing I opened it in a new thing. <laughs> okay, never mind. And uh, go to Sabita. There. Wait. I I forget things so easily. I, I always remember things that I shouldn't rem remember, and I forget things that I should remember. So. No, wait, huh? I always forget things that I should remember, and I always remember that. <laughs> Remember things that I shouldn't remember. That's uh, what I was trying to say. Um, so fashion. Cyberpunk. Uh, so blah 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 blah. People bin. Uh, X64. Plugins. Cyber engine tweaks. Mods. Oh, okay. <laughs> here, uh, here, here we have it. So click when you open the RAR thing. Uh, you click on bin X. Plugins, Cypher Engine Tweaks, and then you drag the mod folder out here. Like so. And now this one is finished. And you can click on it. Here is Unlock Night City. Very... I, I really like the... I, I don't know if I like the modding community, because I haven't had that much interactions with them. And I did notice that one of them deleted one of my comments. And I was like, hmm, what did I do wrong? So I don't know if I like the modding community specifically, but I, I, I think they are very impressive. It, it's incredible what they've managed to do uh, so quickly. And I'm sure they're nice. I just, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit weird. Um, as you probably can guess based on my YouTube channel. Uh, but anyway, so now we've finished with this one and we can go, you, you know what? We should close some of these. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, the, the last one, and this one is not necessary, so let me just get some time to think about how I will explain this. Um, basically, uh, the, this one, the climate change one, is, um, is uh, a mod that will definitely trigger American Republic. Okay, I'm joking. Uh, sorry, I should really not uh, make jokes like that. Uh, in, in, in Okay, anyways, uh, ignore what I said. Um, I mean... Uh <laughs> Um, this one is uh, is not necessary. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this one is is not necessary. Um, it's not necessary, but you can install it if you want to. I I don't think I should show you. I, I should I show? I'm I'm kind of tired now. Um, let me just check quickly. No, this video is long enough already. If you want me to make a guide on this one, then I can. But the problem is that uh, it's non-essential, and um, yeah, it's non-essential. You know what? I'll install it. Fuck you! I didn't say any bad word. Oop, oop. Okay. Uh, choose my copy. I need cyber my copy. Path. My patch. Yeah, yeah. Patch quality patch. Just great one. You need to pass time. Okay. So you just click um, manual download. Uh, open it and you go to cyberpunk whoa cyberpunk uh, where should I download it archive PC patch archive PC patch archive PC patch and patch we already have that one because of one of our previous mods um, and then you just I would recommend using the uh, cloud Oh, no, the Overcast. Which one? Um, Overcast. Take slightly. Le yeah, clouds. Just clouds. Uh, because it's actually an improvement. Uh, because the normal game has very like almost a bit too bright light. It it doesn't quite match the theme of the game. So I think when it's a little bit cloudy, especially when it's well implemented like this, that works uh, really well. I'm very sorry that this video has taken such a long time, um, but I guess I gotta be thorough. Mm, clouds, that was the correct one. 
so you just drag it in here and do not do not use rain I everything went to <laughs> to hell after I used rain the the ray tracing went completely crazy like I I don't know if it's because of the rain but I'm traumatized because I couldn't get the the mod pack to to work. So if you notice any weird bugs or glitches, like in general, um, please uh, tell me. I I really want to improve it and fix all of the problems. Um, but now we are basically uh, finished. Um, maybe I should uh, first uh, no lastly uh, go to my uh, to my thing here. Manage files. Go to uh, old version. No. Why? Anyways, what am I doing? I can't even focus. What? Wh wh where is it? Wh how can I? How can I download it? Uh, view mod page. Files. Uh, here, this one. Uh, manual download. Uh, and. Here you can see if we go to Cyberpunk and go to Engine, Config, Platform PC. No. If we go to Bin 64, then Reshade. Here we have our Reshade presets. And uh, since we are using the DLSS. No, wait, we're using the wrong one actually. We're using. We're not supposed to be using the DLSS one. Wait, let me change that. Uh, so I go to engine, go to config, go to platform, go to PC, and here uh, for DLSS users, right? Requires RTX card. Yes. So this one is. I should not have this one. I should delete and put in this one for non-DLSS users. And then also uh, we go back to bin and 64, and then we go to reshade, and then we choose then the reshade for non-DLSS users here and then we can basically launch the game I'll be back okay so it's uh, preparing to launch Cyberpunk 2077 and when it opens we will I if you have installed the reshade correctly uh, I've already already went through this in the reshade thing in fact continue without an account play Okay. Okay. So um, for some reason, it's not working for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have no idea why. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do <laughs> to do with the mod pack. I certainly don't uh, don't hope so. Uh, and I'm I've been waiting too long to upload this uh, this mod pack, so I think I'll just do it either way. Um, because I'm a little bit tired now. Um, but let me just show you how. Uh, Okay, wait. Here, uh, I can show you. Okay, so here you go to wait. So here in key bindings, you click default, uh, as you can see here. He's on uh, key binding. And I think, where is the graphics option? So I can show you. Um, here, if, if you uh, are going to use RTX, I would recommend turning off screen space reflections. And also, if you go a bit further down, you can find the glo uh, global uh, illumination settings that were uh, implemented in one of my mods, uh, or one of the mods that were included, and that we download together, uh, and download it. <laughs> downloaded together and you can uh, place it on medium or high or I think high and ultra no medium or high and also the FOV uh, settings can uh, go further further than uh, 100 uh, usually it can go from like 50 to 100 but uh, because of the mod uh, we can uh, take it all the way to 200 if you would like uh, so that's basically it, and I really hope <laughs> everything works out, and uh, yeah, goodbye.